Hey everyone, it's Justin. Thanks for watching. In this video, it's an introduction to a new series I made, and it's based off a lab from Knowledge 2022. And uh, thanks to Jace Benson, link in the uh, description below to his channel. He had on one of his news videos uh, talking about this particular content. He's looking forward to doing it. And so uh, kudos to him. I went and clicked on it. It was like, hey, this is only about 20 minutes, um, and I've been meaning to learn more about UI Builder, so let me try this out. What I did was unique, is I just recorded everything that I did as I moved through the lab and the exercises, and it wasn't 20 minutes. 20 minutes was how long the video instruction was, the lab itself, I probably spent about 103 minutes or an hour and 45 minutes um, moving through the content. Now the content was really good. I'm going to save my thoughts and opinions until the last video in this series. There's about eight videos total. Um, what I will say is that um, in this introduction that the the, the there's a reason that the series is time lapse. Um, it's a really highly technical endeavor. And I want you to see that building, um, I wanted you to see me building it transparently. There's no magical editing other than speeding it up so it goes faster. And what you're going to see is definitely in the weeds. Um, another shout out to Brad Tilton with ServiceNow who created the lab and the content. You know, providing instruction on complex topics isn't easy. Um, and as you'll see in the series, I was able to follow along fairly well and move through it. Um, even with the time lapse, it makes, makes it look really fast. But I credit him with making that a good experience. Um, there's six videos of the actual demo content or time lapsing. They break down the experience in UI Builder, and that parallels the lab, how the lab is organized. You can kind of see it right there behind me. Um, so that's basically how they're broken down. I try to keep each of them under two minutes. Um, and so that meant about 10 times as fast for most of them, except for the very last one. I think I went up to almost 19 or 20x. There's going to be a seventh and final video where I'll wrap things up and share my thoughts on UI Builder and experience in general and ServiceNow. Um, and kind of related, now that I actually know how my way around in there and how to add things to a page, I'm going to do another San Diego release highlight showing all the new components that came out in San Diego for UI Builder. So if, uh, if you're watching this after the fact, um, make sure you look for the playlist on YouTube so you can see all eight videos in the series. If you're watching it as I'm dropping them routinely, there's going to be two the first day. Um, so this intro video and then the first time lapse video, and then I'm going to do one a day thereafter until they're all out there. So I really hope you enjoy this series. Please like, please subscribe, or share it with somebody who you think might be interested. And until next time, I'll see you on the next one.